and welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3 with the Spanish Peninsula campaign. Last time around we had a drop-in battle here as I purposely walked into the ambush of um, a French force. Now the French force con consisted mostly of militia troops but even with that they numbered about 3,000 men. We had kind of an interesting outcome um, where I was able to actually replicate kind of normal results that I usually get against the AI. Now, a lot of that was due to the fact that um, I had actually played the battle once before just to test it out. So I kind of knew the strength and the weaknesses of the enemy army. Um, and even that, I think the most important thing was probably the cheeky cannon shot. I got on the enemy's general, and since most of his army was comprised of militia, there was no saving that force. So they got absolutely destroyed, advancing on me. Uh, even with that, one of the strongest units was the uh, French Dragoons, the Barry. And they absolutely savaged the volunteers of Madrid. I was actually worried that I'd completely lose that unit, given how heavy the casualties were. However, with that, we definitely secured victory over this army, and I'll be able to run it into the sea. And we'll keep this area secure. Now, there's constant troop force, or French forces, moving in, so we want to stop that. Um... But first, I need to deal with this area right here. Now, this was the first drop-in battle I tried. Um, but it turned out to be a mess because, um, well, when I attacked, the French and the Portuguese troops actually turned up inside each other. Um, and I think that's actually probably the better option to do, like, intentionally break the battle because even if I do it the other way around I'm pretty sure the result actually it's better to attack the town because when I win I will get the town and everyone in there will get destroyed the reinforcements I don't care so much for them so it's actually better to attack the town than to attack this unit um, it would have been nice though to kind of get uh, like a f done being able to do this as a drop-in battle because then we could build on the sort of inconclusive battle that we first had. So the first battle of Burgos, which was a drop-in battle, I ended up lose. He and the, the um, French ended up losing a little bit more troops, but they already had more troops. And it kind of became inconclusive in terms of the battle. And if it weren't for the Portuguese coming in to save me, then I would have had to pull back. So it would have been interesting to actually play that a second time as um, the forces are actually about even. The, I would say this looks to be a slight advantage for our side in terms of the fact that we've got tremendous amount of cannon compared to the French. Although they do have some good cavalry and they do have the reinforcement army coming in. Uh, in terms of troops, the enemy has 4,000, while we have 4,000. So, equal numbers. Um, Portuguese, we'll see how well they fare. I'll probably rely heavily on them to do a mountain of work, because I don't want them to capture anything, of course. And I want to limit the losses of my army so that I could actually hope to regain troops rather quickly, given that we lost about a thousand men, I think, or maybe even more in the first Battle of Burgos. So it would be nice to not lose that many, maybe aim for about 300 men loss, and then quickly being able to replenish and be back, put back into the action rather rapidly so we can contain the French and then actually go into France.
But enough of that, I want to get this battle over re really quickly so we can do some other moves. So with all of that said, let's jump into this battle and march to victory. Most of the battle map is actually covered by a town as we can see here. Oh, now we're underneath. That was not where I was supposed to go. Uh, but as you can see, most of it is a town. Now there's open ground here, perfect for me to advance towards the French line. And I'm sure they're gonna deploy most of the troops here. Just because it's the AI, I know they're gonna place the cannons like here, down the street here or something. Um, the reinforcements are most likely gonna come up behind. I'm hoping that the Portuguese and the French are coming so close that they'll just clash immediately upon entering the field. Um, but I'll try, I'll try, even though I said I was going to try and minimize losses, I'm going to try and defeat this army right here before the other one turns up. So with that said, we're going to start and we're going to move up. We're going to move boldly. We'll boldly go to attack for the second, is it? Second or third battle of Burgos. Right, French reinforcements already sighted. It's a general. Now I'm underneath the map again. But I also noticed. God damn it. Now I noticed the Portuguese are coming in. So the Portuguese and the French are not that close. But they're close enough that the Portuguese will definitely try and go after whatever turns up here. All my cavalry is situated to deal with these, so should be fine. In the meantime, my army is leaping across the field to attack the enemy. Now I'm walking w pretty darn close, and there could definitely be like an enemy counterattack. The French could definitely counterattack. I'm not going to kill the general just yet, but it looks like he's trying to get himself killed without me doing anything. I don't want to lose unnecessary troops. So I'm going to order an attack here. So we lost the guy immediately, but they lost four, so that's okay. Okay, what's that? Armed Tsitsuri? Perfect. I've already scouted out this uh, line right here, there's an edge. And similarly, you can go... Actually, we have to go all the way up here to be able to properly fire down that line. We'll see how this goes. I should send we have killed my their own general they must break. to join that fight. All right, we got him. And I was sad for that one guy we lost. Turns out we only lost that one guy, and they lost everything. There's a lot more Portuguese troops coming in than French. Could be that they're... Uh... Oh, look at that! They're actually not deploying their gun in the town. What is going on? Is this a drop-in battle that I don't know about? Clearly not, because the it's still that kind of reshuffle when they have the line march straight back and forth through each other. My grenadiers are on the way. Provincial grenadiers are not as fast as um, these grenadiers right here. Even though they're um, quite similar. Actually these guys have yellow facings while these have red. Pretty nice line. And Coming a bit close to the French line here. Yeah, I probably want these all the way up to the edge. Okay, we got two cavalry units coming down. Let's make sure that these units are sat here behind the church, ready to shoot them down. And let's walk in step. Ah, oh, sh crap! Good charge! 
by the enemy cavalry. Unfortunately for them, I was already set up in a really good marching order. But the thing is, I do not want them to attack me again. So we're gonna move over the Casadors. Casadors are Cabello the Olive Oil, whatever. Alright, nine pounders. It's time for some time for some hard pounding. Let's see who pounds the hardest. Right, these guys rode straight in to uh, the little death square. Oh shit, that's a lot of French troops advancing. I'm not even sure we'll be able to deploy this in time. I'll have to move up some infantry to try and stop them. They're going hard right here. We're gonna have to move a lot of the troops over. The cavalry hasn't come back yet. We'll, uh, we'll hold the grenades for here now. You are not actually... That's pointless firing at this. I want to fire here. This is going to be a spectacularly good canister. If this works out. Poor French bastards. Wait, are you firing round shot? No, you're supposed to fire canister. I was hoping for... Uh, more of a kill zone, but we might be able to fire once more. You will uh, march up through there. Okay, we got kind of a massive move over here. Move to support behind these. How far does your canister reach? You can kind of touch the edge of some of the units passing here. I kind of need a cavalry unit. We're going to take the biggest one. Oh, they're coming. Can I get some support over here? Please. Open fire. Get... Ooh, here comes the second canister. Oh, and they're... Go on. Da fire them cannon then. I don't care about the bastard. It's smoke. We can't see what's going on. Okay, the French are charging with armed citizenry onto my. They've got. They've got kilts on. Oh shit! My light troops are in big trouble. Completely missed that. They're holding on though. I thought they would you know, crash immediately. Back to round shot. The cannons. You better not be turning the guns. Just fire into this miss. Alright. I thought I told you guys to fire at will. The enemy was destroyed over here. Let's not shoot canister on our own troops. Okay, let's uh, push some extra troops into here. Um, have you advance into that. I'm gonna fire round shot there. First E. Okay, most of these are breaking. Cannon shots going in, just in time for the big cavalry unit. 458E, getting smashed. Portuguese, dealing with most of that. I think it's time to tell the cannons to uh, hold fire. Uh, 
Actually, all my infantry just start chasing down the French troops. We'll have my cavalry move that way. Oh, we do actually have a French unit still standing. Turn quickly now. I kind of want to get experience for my infantry, so I want the infantry to march down and get as many of these as possible. We should turn the cannons around to uh, reset positions for whatever is over here. But I think the Portuguese can handle a lot of that. Looks like I was able to pretty painlessly get rid of this. Oh, we have got a pretty large unit. The hundred and first is coming out to face us, and I only kind of got the smaller units on the way. The thing is, seeing most of their uh, the rest of the army running, I'm sure oh they're charging. Or at least they're uh, moving pretty fast for a people that is mostly known for chain smoking. Um, cannons to be deployed out in the open there. I don't want to drag them through the woods. I don't think we have time. Brutal! Brutal! Victory is soon to be mine. We're chasing down tons of troops here. I wonder how the reinforcements are faring. Portuguese doing pretty well. It's not a lot of. Uh, Enemy troops coming in. The French could have definitely done a lot better with this. But yeah, the battle is won here. If there is more to the battle, I'll end up showing it. Otherwise, I guess we could end it right here. Oh, it is a victory. Um, I think I want to continue. Just to see if there's more troops turning up so the Portuguese can... Go ahead and slay them. All of these troops are, of course, the troops in town, so I don't actually need to chase them all down. It's actually more important to chase these down, because they are going to come back. Especially that unit. So I held on for a little bit, and it turns out... That there's quite a few French units coming out here. Now, a lot of it's militia. But we got the famous 9E as well. Or the 9. The incomparable. The heroes of uh, Marango. Is that how you pronounce it? Probably not. Apparently, um, Napoleon rewrote the story around the battle so many times that. No one knows what went on. Okay, so everyone just died. Let's make sure that that's complete. And I don't have to fight these again. Not that I care too much about the militia. They'll fall over by their own accord. But the 9E would be nice to uh, evaporate. I think that's it though, there's not really going to be much interesting here as um, I'm going to be um, really shitting, just sit here on the edge destroying all this militia and stray units coming in to the battlefield uh, trying to get rid of as many of these units in as possible. 
a little bit more casualties than planned, but I think that a lot of this is actually part of the Allied army. A astounding victory over Armand Philippon, with him losing most of everything, with only 700 men left after the battle. I think if we actually look at our losses, we'll find that a lot of them... Yeah, there's no way I ended up losing that many. We're looking at, let's see, 150, 200 something out of that. So out of 700, I lost about 250 maybe. Which is, what did I say? Did I say 300 was the range that I was looking for? So that's precisely what I did really good. And the province should now be ours. Um, Armand Mormont. It's moving north. And I just took this province. We got FOP that needs murdering. I'm sure I have agents on the way soon enough. Uh, or maybe the Portuguese can deal it for me. Right. The Portuguese army is still pretty strong. Could maybe liberate something for me, or at least block some of these reinforcements coming in. Uh, with that, now France only holds four regions. I need to push them out of two more, then Spain is completely liberated. And then there's two regions in France. I don't particularly like the fact that the British took this. I, they've done... They've barely done anything, and then the only thing they do is not to really... I mean, it's... In a way, it's a aiding the war, but... It's only to glorify themselves by taking that, not liberating a single piece of Spanish soil. They're only in it for themselves, the bastards. Anyways, no more, more moves to make, and I think there's enough time in the episode to maybe do some quick movements, and I could probably easily get rid of some of the straggling armies, and maybe even a quick outer assault to completely push the French out of Spain, and then we can look against the final assault. Um, I'm, I'm looking to set this up as a um, drop-in battle. So for once, my drop-in opponent will actually get a proper army. Let's even get the young guards, howitzers, tons of cavalry. So that'll be good for him, not necessarily for me. But it'll be good content. Right, let's go ahead and end turn, shall we? We have a city under siege. So it's up here. There should be no problem for an outer assault. Agent detected, Portuguese guy. Not a problem either. We have the Sapadors of Castile being recruited. And they should move in to join with this army with the rest of the Sapadors. Are set up and then we also have um, another line infantry coming in oh just outside the town build some farm where would you where were these guys going the thing is I portioned out infantry all over the place but as you can see I removed them all because I realized they were um, draining on the coffers unnecessarily. I think most of the French units actually started retreating. Um, I think we can still... Right, let's go here. This is the one that might be a little bit tricky. Let's see. No, it's not tricky at all. Clear out to resolve. We lost 200 men. We savaged their force even more. Oh, why did <laughs> why did the army jump in? Never mind. Um, actually, I need assassins in Burgos. Provocateur, ninety one percent, ninety nine. What do we have here? Can't even see eighty six. Can stay here for a little bit. I think. Um, 
Let's push this one over the edge to get it to 100. These troops... There was something moving out here. So I'm just gonna... Um, even though this is kind of shit force... We're just gonna move them to cover that. Um, I think a lot of assassins and stuff will probably move off camera. Where were you going? Oh yeah, this one was only at 32, so we need provocateurs moving that way. Did I have another one? We can send two that way, maybe even a priest. And, oh yeah, we do have a guy here that needs murdering as well. Still causing unrest. Now the French moved back, they had a reinforcement right, right about here. But with the defeat of all of this, and the other French force moving in here. Now I don't actually know where they are. I'm gonna push through and see if there's anything in the town. They're building up everything, everywhere. Which I think is kind of odd, given that they're completely losing at this point. We're gonna move through. And this is an outer resolve, 161. The enemy destroyed. Then another area falls for us. Now we can tr co hold this province. We've got another guerrilla guy going through. Alright, we can definitely... We've got another guerrilla. Moving through. Right. And even one more. He might actually charge after what's over here. It would be... It would be in theme with what my allies have been doing if Portugal went through and actually claimed this area and not gave it back to me. Right, I think that's that. For the next one, what I might do is I might pre prepare the campaign in such a way that we have like the last battle. But I think I might have to move rapidly because I have seen the British moving extra troops up here so they would have more than a full stack and um, that might be enough to break the French without me ever joining the fight which would be not agreeable. I want that final fight where we have a proper fight everything, my best troops Against France's best troops, and would just fight it out and completely destroy each other. With that said, I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.